Hello, 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 my crafty peeps. I am here with another. I'm, I don't know what I'm calling. Smash the pad. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> so anyway, I'm here with this project share, and it is for the DCWD Christmas plaid. I know I've done some projects before with this. Can't think what they were to like say. Go check this video out because I don't know. But I was able to use up this pad. Okay, <laughs> well, somewhat. So I just wanted to put this stuff up and so I want to do a little video and you might not see all the end parts but it has been demolished <laughs> this is pretty much what I have left I'm gonna go say pretty much this is what I have left and y'all already know I'm probably gonna be doing a junk journal little thing with this uh, if I don't decide to throw it away tomorrow look at it but I know I need to do some tags for something else so this is what I have left out of that paper pad this, this, this. Alrighty. So, first, let me just show you some other little pieces that I had left, which are these. So, it was a 12 by 12 sheet, and it had this on there, but I used the other half for something else. So, it would actually be two of these. But I just have the one right here, and they're going to be 5 by 7 cards, and it just said a Merry Christmas. I might put some flowers or something Um down here but I just put on a black mat and this will go to a 5 by 7 card these right here are also some leftovers but I have them already separate because I know what I'm going to do with these and I got them right here because I will be using put them back together this um, I think it's a chaos craft die where we do these little notebook things here so we'll be making it to a um, the notepad hopefully y'all can see that a little notepad right here so that's what those will be for just haven't done it yet um so these right here is just some i'm not sure where i get, i use this die right here i'm not sure if i got a d stash or ebony because i had this one and a longer one and i can't um and this one right here i think one of them i got from ebony and i think the other one i got maybe in a d stash so i'm not for sure i don't know what the name of it is or what brand or anything but um they're pretty much the same. It's just one taller and one shorter. And of course, it's got that little lid on it. But anyway, so I'm not sure where I exactly got it from. But I used this one right here. And these are the two boxes. So I used up some of this paper right here. And I made these two boxes. And I had some of these tags there. So I put them in the boxes. That's probably what I'm going to put in there um, for those two. And so those are going to be the same as these. I just haven't put these two together yet. But it's going to be the same. So you can see that's the same paper there. And then the two for this one. So it'll be just some Christmas boxes. I'm not sure um, because it closes like this. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Put a ribbon through here and I can just tie a little bow. Um, so I haven't decided yet. But that's those. Okay. I told you about this. Let's try to get stuff out the way here. Now the other thing, and this was cute. The other thing I had was one large 12 by 12 paper and it was this print right here oh you can't see it it was this print right here and i had it 12 by 12 so of course you know everybody else do we go online and i went so i used the quick cards with 12 by 12 paper and it's a tutorial by jessica taylor i have we'll have a link in the uh, comments down below so that's where i got this idea from inspiration um from is um jessica taylor let me get these okay I also use these embossing folders, so I use this one, and I ain't got no name on this one. This embossing folder is like a Christmas um, thing. This right here is snowflakes, and then this right here is just some script. Okay, so I use those three embossing folders, and I use this Diane stamp set, and this is from Stampendous, and I don't think it has a name. It says from 2006, though. 2016. My apologies, 2016. I don't have a name. But I did use this stamp and die set right here. I just used the sentiments and then the little, this little uh, die right here. Okay. And so what it is, is you take a 12 by 12 piece of paper and you cut it up into three by three. And I also have some more. I don't know what, uh, something else I want to show you. Some three by three um, pieces. <laughs> yeah, here you go. You cut them up in some three by three pieces and you know you lay them on a card or whatever. So check the video out and she'll show you how to do that. So um and by doing this you can make 16 cards. I only made 12. 
because I ran out of this red paper and I liked it this particular format, I guess you could say. So I'll show you what I did with the other one. So you can make 16 of them, but I only made 12, so you could have four packs of these, I guess you could say. And so, um, and so they're all the same, but just different, um, and you're not going to be able to see it. But this is his embossing folder on here. So for one pack, I use this is um, on here is actually this embossing folder. Okay. And then have a Merry Christmas, like I say. So I, it's three, three stamp sets in here. And I use all three, one for each one. So this is that one. And I did them all different as far as the design a little bit. And you'll see here. So this one, I have this. And it just says, have a Merry Christmas. This is the second one, and the second one has the snowflakes, and I did it um, portrait, no, um, landscape. So I did these in landscape, and then I put that Merry Christmas from the heart on this one, okay? And then the third one is the, um, the script, and this just says Season's Greetings. So as you can see, they're all like a little different design. Of course, this one, just because for one, it's in landscape. This one right here, I got it centered. And this one right here, I have it offset to the left a little bit and then got this offset to the right. Okay? So I was able to make those 12 thin cards. And, I, and these clear containers, I haven't had these forever. Got them from, you know, I think um, I went to a, not a garage, but I got a state sale type thing and it, and it was tons of them. But you could probably get them off of Timu or maybe, uh, what's the other store people getting stuff from? Paper Warehouse? No, um... I don't know where you can get it from, but I had these for a long time, and I'm using these up. I don't know if I got 100 or so of them. So, I'm using those. <laughs> and so, then, like I said, you can make 16. So, with the other three, I just made some 3x3 three three cards right here. And I was able to make four, and these are the last four, you know, these. But, yeah, I cut them down some more, so there'd be two and three-fourths and three-three-fourths, because, of course, the card is, you know, three. But that's um, the rest of these. So, I made these cards. And then um, from that paper pad, I had this piece left, so I just did a black and white one with these red birds because I had this. I was able to get a piece of this. So I have those three by three cards. And what else did I do? Oh, okay. And last but not least, I did this here, and that's what I'm going to make some tags for. I tried my hand at this. It's called a layered flip page for junk journals and mini albums. And this is from... I'm probably not going to pronounce her name right, but a link will be down below. Alisa, very little paper crafter, okay? So I have a link to her channel down below uh, to what she made. Now, I did mine different from hers, as you'll see in the tutorial. The only thing I did different was this black paper. She actually had it because this is the binding, the uh, the binding, yeah. But she had hers on the inside where this paper here will be glued on the, outs on the outside here. I like the black border, so I just glued on the inside. It's pretty much all I did. And so then this is a um, piece of the paper. And I just stuck this up here. One of the little cards. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And that is the back. And it's like a junk journal. And it's, um, so you got flips on each side. This is, you could do pockets. And so it's just a journal on. I thought it'd be a nice little Christmas, um, cri uh, pull that talk. Cute <laughs> little junk journal for Christmas. So now, like I said, I'll, all those little bits and pieces, I'm going to put some tickets in here and little things like that to keep them on there, to keep them together. I already got some of the little cutter parts up here in this little pocket. And then I just figured it could probably right right here. I just got those two birds sitting there for now that I, that was cut out that paper pad. And it's the same over here, just some flips to be able to do some journaling, you know, during the month of December or before. I mean, do it really get, I think, I'm trying to think now that I'm looking at it. Is anything in here really Christmas related? Because if not, it could be just winter, right? So it actually just could be winter and that's had to be Christmas. And so the only thing left I have to do for this, if I get some, I have to check my paper, is uh, um, what I want to do, some um, tags. Because it is open at the top, so I'll probably do two tags in there, which means I might need to take this. I don't think I got no bigger pieces. It's either here nor there. And so that's what I did to... Kill that paper pad. I'm going to kill that paper pad. And so that is what I have to finish off this paper pad. Thanks for watching.